Understanding, a turn for the worse, navigating English idioms. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English idioms, focusing on the phrase, a turn for the worse. Idioms are a crucial part of mastering English, adding color and depth to our conversations. So, let's explore what this phrase means, how to use it correctly, and look at some examples to help you incorporate it into your own English speaking and writing. A turn for the worse is an idiom used to describe a situation or condition that has deteriorated or become worse than it was before. This phrase is often used in the context of health, personal circumstances, or any situation where there was an expectation of improvement or stability, but the outcome was negative. The phrase, a turn for the worse, is believed to have nautical origins, where the term, turn, referred to the direction of a ship. Just as a ship might suddenly turn into dangerous waters, this idiom now describes any situation that unexpectedly becomes more difficult or unpleasant. It's commonly used in everyday English, in news reports, literature, and conversations. Understanding this idiom can help you better express changes in situations, especially those that are unfavorable. To help you grasp how a turn for the worse is used, let's look at a few examples. 1. After the surgery, we expected a quick recovery, but unfortunately, her condition took a turn for the worse. 2. The weather took a turn for the worse, turning our picnic into a mad dash for shelter. 3. Initially, the negotiations seemed promising, but they took a turn for the worse due to disagreements on key issues. In each of these examples, the phrase is used to describe a situation that has unexpectedly become more challenging or negative. While, a turn for the worse, is the most common form, you might also hear variations like, take a turn for the worse, or, gone a turn for the worse. These variations carry the same meaning and can be used interchangeably depending on the context and your preference for sentence structure. And that wraps up our exploration of the idiom, a turn for the worse. We hope this video has shed some light on how to use this phrase effectively in your English communications. Remember, idioms like this one are keys to sounding more native and adding nuance to your language skills. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to use a turn for the worse when the situation calls for it. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.